What surprised me here, you have to pay for parking. And you can't even give you tickets to anywhere else because you have to enter your registration number. It's not expensive. It's three pounds for a day. Lulworth Estate set in 20 square miles of countryside. Five miles of which is the World Heritage Jurassic Coast, including the world famous Dodeldo and Lulworth Cove. Thousand acres of this estate is a deer park and a magnificent Lulworth Castle. Originally, a castle built in the early 17th century is a hunting lodge to entertain aristocracy and the royalty. In 1641, the estate of Lulworth was purchased with Humphrey Weld, son of wealthy London merchant, and they are still the current owner of the Lulworth estate. In 1665, Charles II visited Lulworth, and the cost of monarch's stay nearly bankrupted the world family. What was to come to the world? They were Catholic, and anti-Catholic legislation deprived Humphrey Weld of all of his official position, so that when he died in 1685, he had almost no money to pass on to his heir. We're going up in the tower. So, all the way there. Oh, finally, we are on the top. Beautiful views open up from here. All this Dorset coast. One of the most fascinated worlds of Lulworth was Sir Edward Wilde, who died in 1761. He married the daughter of Lord Ashton of Orpha, Catherine who in sensational court case sued for divorce on the grounds that the marriage has not been consummated. She lost and Sir Edward sued back for damages to his reputation and won, but was not legally allowed to marry it until Catherine died. But fascinating story of Wilds didn't stop there. His heir, also named Edward, Married twice, the second time to Marian Smith, mostly known to everyone by the name of Maria Fitzherbert, because Edward died shortly after the marriage and she remarried to Thomas Fitzherbert. After her second husband also died, the twice widowed Marianne became the mistress of Prince Wales and rumors that they were secretly married. It looks like they've done a lot of work here. I visited this castle 22 years ago and it was it wasn't as in good state as it is now. It looks much better. They've done tons of work here since then. Good for them.
because there is no flaws here it's quite interesting how the flow would be all the way here and this is the door from outside this is how would it look you have a wedding here after 1929, this castle was virtually destroyed and fell into disrepair. In the Second World War, World War, especially after D-Day, it's become a tradition people come here put their names on. Normally they're sweethearts and most of them gone right now. But this is how they used to look. This is the room we just saw from above. See with this door? This is, was a king's kitchen. <laughs> because there's so many floors in this castle, there is a way to stand where you put put here and it's going up. This is his actual uniform, Joseph Wild. He's here. This is this is his actual uniform, which you see in the picture. The wine cellar. Lulva's castle has a huge ground. To walk around grounds is free. Well, you pay three pounds for parking. Parking is all day. So you can walk for miles here. Different paths to different parts. We have a little walk this way. See where it leads. They do plant a lot of trees here. All these squares, so the new trees planted. And you can, you barely can see there. You see there? On the top of the hill? This is all over there. There. It's all new trees been planted. To be perfectly honest, this little area doesn't look like England to me. It looks like I'm somewhere in Romania. Entrance to Lulva's Castle, only six pounds and four pounds for children. And the 16, so it's not, it's quite a cheap day out. This is the house where they actually live right now and it's all closed off, private area, there's lovely gardens in the back, a 
try to have a little sneak peek, but no. Fence is too high. You can barely see it, but this is the sea. And uh, Lulworth Cove, just, just there. This chapel also have a lot of Commonwealth War burials. If you still feel that you have a legs in you, after castle you can drive about 15 minutes and visit Lulbas Cove and walk to the Dodeldorf. 